Hi everyone, today we are talking about things that Star Stable Online decided to remove from the game or ideas they have scrapped. So first of all, nail polish. Really old players might remember this, but we used to be able to have nail polish in the game. Like you were able to choose what color your nails are. Star Stable got rid of it after a while, not sure really why, but it's gone. I believe the test arena for riding horses also was scrapped, so in case you didn't know, players for a long time were telling Star Stable to please add a test arena because back in the day, like we didn't ha back in the day, a year ago, like we didn't have the new horse buying screen. We weren't able to see the gates of the horses. If you wanted to see how a horse moved, you had to literally go on YouTube and see if anyone had videos of how that horse runs, how it behaves, the motions, and all that. So the test arena that Star Stable has was meant to be a place where you could click on a horse and then ride it around in an arena to see how it performs, and then you could decide if you want to buy it. However, I think Star Stable scrapped it because we no longer need it. We have the new horse buying screen. Star Stable also might have scrapped the GED offices. So in Jarlaheim, GED is meant to have offices with Mrs. Drake, I believe. And yeah, it's been in the files for a long time. I'm pretty sure the offices actually are in the game. Like you could glitch your way into them. Don't do that. But if you were to try, I'm pretty sure you can, unless if they patched it. Ashland is another area that Star Stable has scrapped. We are never getting Ashland. Yes, it's in the game, but it's been locked up for the past like seven years. No one is ever going to Ashland. We're never going to be able to go there. And on top of that, Star Stable removed the Kalter lore. So if any quests were meant to happen there, because there is a house in Ashland, we're never going to have it. We're never going there. And Star Stable also admitted that they're not going to be working on it, and they probably will also not be using it for anything. Star Stable has also erased Easter, Valentine's Day, and Christmas. Every Easter, we used to have Easter in the game for a few weeks, and basically there was a rabbit. We also had Easter tack and other Easter things to do, but it wasn't that big of a deal. It was kind of just like an event to get items, really, from what I remember. We might have had Easter quests, but I don't really know. Valentine's Day also was a really big deal, I believe, because, like, me? I love Valentine's Day. I don't ever have a date on Valentine's Day, but I love Valentine's Day because it's cute, it's fun, and I just love the vibe of it. It just gives really nice nostalgia. I love Valentine's Day. But sadly, we don't have that in the game anymore. Star Table might add it back this year. I hope they do, but I don't think they will. But if they do, I really hope they do, still. Star Stable also kind of removed Christmas. We used to have Christmas quests where we could decorate a tree, cut down a tree so we could put it in the center of Jarlaheim, and we also had other Christmas quests as well throughout the map. And on top of that, we also had Halloween quests that were within the Orvik map. We didn't have the Halloween world back then. We didn't have Galloper Thompson's Keep, so you had to go in the Orvik map, like in Steve's Farm, I think, or Silver Laid Manor or even Nilmer's Highland, and you'd have to meet up with a girl and, I think, talk to her about, like, ghosts or whatever. And you had to go to the basement of the Silverglade Castle to also do things like the ghost maze, and I think there also was a roller coaster at some point, but I don't really know. I'm editing right now, and I just realized that I forgot to mention that we used to have Santa Claus in the game, like, in Jarlaheim, and he also was in the Christmas Village, and we also had fashion shows, I think every spring, and Valentine's Day had races and I think a few quests as well. And I really miss them! Valentine's Day was so fun! Star Stable called it Galentine's Day. It was really, really cool. If you wanted to get, like, certain items in the game, you literally had to team up with other players just to be able to get them. It was, like, team effort. Star Stable also has removed up to 20, maybe more, maybe less, quests like storylines. So that includes the Calters, that also includes a bunch of other things, like the list goes on, you might be able to find it on Reddit. The Calters are scrapped. Buttergood Stables also is another idea that got scrapped, so in New Hillcrest we have the New Hillcrest Stables, but the Buttergoods are a family that live in New Hillcrest, and I think they were supposed to have their own stable, which I definitely do believe, because in Crescent Moon there is no stable to stay at. You have to run all the way over to Jarlheim or to New Hillcrest just to, like, park your horse for the night before you log off. I know I do that, like, I will go to a stable, then I'll log off, or I'll do chores, but, like, 
there's no stable in Crescent Moon. So I think there was meant to be a stable there because Buttergood Stables was meant to be added to the game and it never got added. The dinosaur nest also was supposed to be added to the game, but it got removed, I believe, because if you go to Dino Valley and try to find it, the bug to get to it is patched. It was meant to be like a dinosaur nest, I think, on top of a mountain, and if you bugged your way there, you could get there, but nothing, I think, was actually in that area. It was just an area that I think was meant to be used, but just never got added. North Link, I also believe, is going to be scrapped, or, or at least never will be used, because... Northlink has been in the game for literally, I think, a decade right now, and it still has not been used. I believe that the road in Northlink, like where the little construction site is and the cave, I believe that path is meant to go to the Stone Circle, as well as the path in Golden Hills Valley for the castle. I believe that is also supposed to go to the Stone Circle, but so far, nothing has happened, so it's probably being scrapped or they're just going to do something else with it. Mystic Valley was supposed to be there, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Furfall was also supposed to be the name of Mistfall, but they changed the name for some reason. Yorvik High also is an area where the original Star Stable characters went to school, and you could actually play the Yorvik High experience by playing Starshine Legacy, but so far it's not in the game. The Yorvik Museum also is a place in the game, but we only go to it once in a quest, Therefore, I consider Yorvikai and Yorvik Museum scrapped because I don't believe they'll be used again. And if they are, that would be only if more areas were added to the Yorvik City map. The Western Riding in Moreland Stables was also removed. We used to be able to do, I think, barrel racing or pole bending in Moreland, and that got removed because Star Stable decided to move the Western Riding in Moreland all the way to Fir Grove. The market for horses... The horse market was a market that would move around the map, I think, every two weeks. So it would be in Golden Hills Valley, then it would be in Fort Pinta, and then I think it would be in Steve's Farm, I'm pretty sure, or Yarlaheim. But it just moved around the map a lot, and we no longer really have that. It's kind of just permanently placed in between Fort Pinta and Moreland. But when we did have the horse market, you had to chase down the horses with sugar cubes, I'm pretty sure, and then round them back to the market. There might have been other quests as well, but basically I think you'd get 50 XP from it every two weeks. And I am sure there are a lot more things that Star Stable has scrapped over the years, including horses and other areas, as well as quests and other ideas. If you could think of any, make sure you comment them down below. But until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!